This banjo will get worse as the show goes on. So I will start off easy. Lord, stop breathing. is a song called the Arkansas Traveler about the state I have been to the most this year. I usually, uh, no, there's no need to clap from Arkansas. There's no need. The first trip back was a family reunion, which I quickly found out there was no need uh, to applause Arkansas. My family's history is a result of the great migration and the reason for the migration is obvious. Uh, this is why I'm a New Yorker. Um, but you can get most everything in New York. You do have to import a few things. Uh, and seeing as you have to import a few things, I will import the one thing we don't have as much of out here as we did in the Golden West where I was raised. Well, there's a few things we are lacking out here. One is gumbo filet. <laughs> you have to result to Amazon.com to get gumbo filet. The other is gun violence. There is a precious small amount of gun violence here in New York City. But where I grew up in South Central, gun violence abounds. So here's a little uh, folk song about gun violence. Let me go. 
Not everybody everywhere likes that. You can't please all the people at the same time. That's why I bring four or five instruments with me. Left to one of these, I'd starve to death. But with all of them, I am pleasantly plumped. Heavenly overweight. This is a song I've done, oh, for a little while. Um, some of you may have noticed, uh, as Eli said, that I have been added to the roster of the Folkways label, which is a lovely place to be added to. And um, 
The things we've chosen are songs I have slipped in on you without your knowledge or consent. <laughs> I've passed them off as songs from the ages of years ago, but they have been songs I actually composed myself to entertain myself and my friends. So with that, I'm sorry to out myself as a songwriter and a singer, but like I said, I would like to remain pleasantly plumped and heavenly overweight. And there's but one way to do it, and it is to give you everything I've got, musically speaking. Here's a song about moving out here to New York City. I, it is called the Mississippi Bottom. You know why? Because people don't buy songs about moving to New York City. <laughs> Especially when you're a large black man known for singing the blues. But being a large, smart black man, I have pulled one over on you. And here is the Mississippi Bible. Cabin, 
baby, give me turnip green. When I ask for cabin, baby, give me turnip green. When I ask for whiskey, baby, give me gasoline. Down in that Mississippi bottom. Feel with mud and clay On that Mississippi bottom Is filled with mud and clay On that Mississippi woman Stole my heart This set will be easy to remember. It will be the folk wave set. <laughs> the next song will be, ah, uh, I need to get used to this. Because apparently I'm going to have to spend the next few years doing this. The, mm, 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 I'm glad you're happy about this. <laughs> I like being flexible, but. I have to fit into a groove. This next song will be, well, should I be honest? Yes. Yes. <laughs> People of my culture, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I'm getting, uh, people are telling me to protect myself. Uh, no, but I'll be slightly honest with you. If you ever read about me playing a Cajun accordion, you know that the bulls have passed through the pasture. <laughs> I played a Cajun accordion for two weeks until my lovely friend Kevin Mendoza, my high school buddy, knocked it off the table, <laughs> broke the reeds in it, and that was the end of me playing this instrument. So if you ever read about me playing accordion, it's not true. <laughs> what you have heard is me putting too much harmonica in my mouth, <laughs> which has been colloquially referred to as Deep Throat and Dixie. Some people have no maturity. <laughs> what you've heard is too much harmonica in one man's mouth playing a little bit of uh, music from southwestern Louisiana, a place which my family, just like Arkansas, has come running from <laughs> to the land of tamales. Uh, I'll play you the little Zydeco. You know Zydeco is a snap bean. This is the little Zydeco. Little bit of uh, sounds that you might have heard in South Central with one pleasantly plump boy imitating accordion on his uh, mouth organ or French harp. I mean, let's see. Also have the bones here. Oh, we got some bones playing. This is a regular nerd fest. <laughs> I brought the vegan bones. <laughs> made out of ebony. I, actually, I think the vegans have it for the first time ever. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold on one minute. 
Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. In 1620, we took a boat ride. We wouldn't stop going till we reached that other side. We done made it here to this foreign show, knowing that the the rattle of the rattle of the bones lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bone lead us all the way home. This ain't my home, and I ain't got no right to stay. This ain't my home, just must be my stopping place. I done made it here to this foreign show, knowing that the rattle of the rattle of the bones will lead me all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bones lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bones lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle of the bones lead us all the way home. Oh, the rattle of the rattle a little bone lead us all the way home. Thank you.
Here's a little uh, New York banjo music. People forget about New York's illustrious banjo history. New York, despite claims by Bristol, Tennessee, and Virginia, two cities that had to join together to become a small town. New York is actually the birthplace of country music. Having Brother Eck Robertson record here in what, 1920, 21 or so. Having the king of the five string banjo being from Hudson, New York, Mr. Vess Osmond. Having some of the best banjo compositions in the country made right here. I will play you Oh, I'm, in t I'm tempted to play you something meditative. <laughs> See, this gap is a doozy. I'm going to play you something meditative. Or I might play you the most famous piece of banjo music ever that needs no introduction. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> we ain't got time for both. <laughs> I'll play you the most famous one because uh, this teacup, uh, which is empty, only allows for so much. Here's the most famous banjo composition that was most likely, excuse me, this is the most famous banjo composition that got its composer a house right here in New York City. Uh-oh, something Christian is happening in that corner. <laughs> Somebody uh, must have felt we were going to put some shake in our shaker with this uh, crazy banjo music. Uh, let's, let's not make too much ado. Without any further ado, the most famous piece of banjo music that has been uh, colonized by the piano by one of the most famous uh, composers to live in New York City, but is from my family's neck of the, neck of the woods near Texarkana. Here's Scott Joplin's famous maple leaf rag without accompaniment.
good. Thank you so much. Is that it? That's it? The, the democracy prevails. Uh, well, I'll play you one more, which is a very depressing song, which is a horrible way to leave you, but it is fast. And sometimes with a little speed, you can forget that everything is sad. Such is the nature of the blues before we had the guitar. Uh, I won't talk about it. Here's a song that's gonna be on that album. I hope y'all enjoy it when it comes out. Um, I'm selling some posters, which has a beautiful caricature. Ooh, that word is hard to say. Ooh, black backpack straps, Irish wristwatch, top chopstick shops, stock top chopsticks. All right, my diction is on point. This song appears on the next album. And I'll send you home with a little what's gonna become of me. I 
done been to the east, and I done been to the west, I done been this whole wide world around. It's only one place I have not been, but I might be there for the sun go down. Oh, that graveyard over yonder's hill is a terrible old lonesome place. And they lay you down flat on your back, then they throw dirt in your face. Hey, give it up for Jerron Paxton, everybody. That was fabulous. Thank you so much. All right.